Welcome to Cinerama TV, I'm Miss Kelly. Papa Tom is all set to show us how easy it is to create stones and cinder blocks using the Cinerama Building and Structure Kit. A few supplies you'll need are a ruler, a fine point marker, a hobby knife, and a paintbrush. Okay, let's go check out Papa Tom and see how easy we can make stones and cinder blocks. <laughs> One thing I wanted to cover with you is making cinder blocks, which you might use if you're going to do some a stone castle. Now in order to create the cinder blocks, let's evenly mark those out. So let's get out our black marker, line up the lines so we know it's going to be pretty straight. Do the next first one, skip a line, do the next one, skip a line, do the next one, skip a line, do the next, and the top one. And now we're ready to do exactly as we did the others, only filling in the second row here. So that it'll give us the completed stone wall of cinder block. If we're going to do a castle, that would really work great for that. Now how do we want to show some depth into it? There are several different ways of doing that. Let me show you how to score it. The really interesting thing about that is that it really can create a perfect turret for you. Just lightly cut it through, not all the way through, but like three quarters of the way. And now you do all the bricks in between. Now just a little bit of flexing from the back can form a nice circular turret. If you say cut out oh, every other one. And you've now got your turret on the end. Now I went ahead on the wall and did a little indentation around each of the blocks running a the back end of a paintbrush so that it gives more texture and depth to the stone. Now what I want to do now is give it a black wash and just run it all over it and see how that does it. To learn more about black washing, check out Papa Tom's video on black washing and dry brushing. Now doesn't that just pop right out at you? It creates a great effect. One last thing I wanted to cover with you is if you were doing a stone wall. Uh, another method of doing it is just indenting it, taking the back side of your paintbrush and just push real hard down into the surface area here, breaking it slightly. Just kind of let your imagination and your hands go wild here in different ways and angles. There we go. And the black wash, of course, then again, it's just water mixed with black paint very thinly and wash it all over it. And look at how it just wants to grab all those little cracks and crevices and show up really nice and interesting. Let that dry, really give it a nice look.